Hi, my name is Kelsey and this is Stay With Dallas. So what makes me interesting is that I do literally like everything, <laughs> anything and everything. So I am like involved in fashion through um, fashion shows and different fashion events and um, like fashion groups. And then I also do public relations in regards to fashion and host events in that form. And then I'm also the world's greatest nanny. I went to school at Texas Women's University in Denton, Texas, majored in fashion merchandising with a minor in marketing. I feel like my college experience has prepared me to be in the position that I'm in now and for positions in the future by having um, people there that motivated me to be better because they said that I couldn't be. And so having not having anyone to really rely on at school pushed me to rely on myself. I just went looking for different avenues and different passageways to find the right connections to make in the industry. And so I think that mentality that I learned honestly through school is going to help me for, for everything in life. I got into fashion because I decided I didn't want to do accounting for my whole life and I wanted to do something more interesting and creative but not too creative. So I chose to do fashion but specifically fashion merchandising because it's business and creativity um, all in one. The public relations side of things came about through fashion. I never really thought I wanted to do that. but. Through different fashion jobs and volunteering positions, I made connections with someone who works at a public relations firm and I decided to try my hand in that. So I've been there for about a year, maybe a year and a half now. At the public relations firm that I'm with, we have clients ranging from retailers, brands, cities and um, restaurants. The office is in Addison, Texas, but our range is just throughout Dallas-Fort Worth area. We do events for them and social media and um, any kind of press releases. Whenever we have to go on set for a client uh, at a news station usually, sometimes the news stations come to our clients or to our events and sometimes we go to the actual studios and so that's a lot of behind the scenes and mostly what I do is I help put together fashion segments for those different news outlets. So it will have to do with what's trending right now or what holidays are coming up. We'll put together like three or four different looks or a table display and my boss goes on TV and talks about it. So I balance it by, uh, don't take my advice, but I sleep probably four hours a night and um, I'm just like always on go. Like today I had a five hour energy. So energy drinks, espresso, little bit of sleep and you're good. <laughs> I'm good at least. Probably not. I'm probably a little bit crazy, not gonna lie, but like, <laughs> I'm still living, right? You're here. <laughs> I'm here, kind of. <laughs> you can't. <laughs>My favorite place in Dallas is really hard to choose because I really like multiple places. One that I just recently remembered that I really love is the Dallas Museum of Art because it's always free and there's always something new to look at. I spend most of my life working, 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 but there's a few things that I like to do for fun. One of them is to go to the Dallas Farmer's Market. I Used to love it a lot when it was more like a market and you could get more fruits and stuff there, but I think it's still super cool with the different homemade vendors and handmade goods. So I like to go there. Uh, I was actually there last weekend and like a couple weekends ago. like her fit model so she'll like make her garments based off of my 
strange body type. <laughs> so everything fits me like a glove. That was so Looking sweet. Good. <laughs> I'm like sweating today. I <laughs> I also like to scroll on Instagram and watch videos of people cutting soap, which is really weird, but it sounds and looks so good. Like thinking about it, like it just, it's so good. I have 1%, but like it's worth it for my phone tonight to show you a soap cutting video. So I love fashion Instagrams and stuff, but this is where like, this is where I'm happiest. <laughs> It's literally just videos of someone cutting soap. Another one, please. Do you, that's amazing. Mmm. Mmm. It gets me right there. Not gonna lie, but now I'm like, I started out with soap, but now I'm into like chalk cutting and like sponge cutting. It don't, you'll get sucked into a rabbit hole. So I don't feel like I've majorly influenced Dallas yet, but I try to influence each individual person that I meet by leaving a good impression and a good mark and making each person feel cared about and making sure each person thinks that I am someone special and unique and interesting to keep in mind. My inspiration for life, I have like three main role models, my mom, uh, and only second to my mom is Tyra Banks, and second to Tyra Banks, or third on the list, is Kamorley Simmons. Um, all strong, beautiful women, uh, minority women who I think have really um, defied the odds and made uh, things happen against the odds. Of course, my mom in different ways than Tyra and Kamora, but Tyra and Kamora started out just as models and they've made brands out of their own names, and I think that that's something to look up to. As far as fashion inspiration goes, I honestly kind of just wear whatever is comfortable for me and whatever is easy to wear, and usually it's a lot of black, because I feel comfortable in black, and it's just easy to mix and match. And um, as far as like people that I get style inspiration from, I like to look on Instagram and look at different people's styles. I never like say I want this exact outfit and go and get the exact outfit, but I just keep those things in mind for either styling other people or if I happen to have something in mind for myself, I might tweak it a little bit to make it different. So, um, this one person that I just happened to follow, her name is Natasha. She like does fashion stuff and I love her posts like, I think the plaid blazer is really nice. Her whole mood is just a mood, like literally, like I, I love it. As far as like favorite Instagram, fashion Instagrams, I like my friend, her name is Kelsey. Not me, my someone else named Kelsey. She's not really a fashion blog, but she has a great sense of style and I love looking at her different outfits and her page just has really good, aesthetically pleasing vibes and she posts empowering things. So just all together, her Instagram is literally my favorite Instagram. In terms of what motivates me, uh, it, it's a lot of things. So it started out last year when I took on a bunch of tasks. Some of them were because I can't tell people no. Some of them were because I just wanted to try things. And so I just did a, a bunch of stuff last year and some of those things stuck with me. And it's just because I, I find things that I like doing and it's hard for me to let go of them. So I would rather do a bunch, a million of, of different things. They say you can't be a jack, or you can be a jack of all trades, but a master of none. And I would like to be a really, really, really good jack of all trades, even if I can't be a master of just one of them. Because then if someone asks me to do one thing, I can do that and I can do a million other things too for them. So that kind of motivates me to be like one go-to person for people. And there's a bunch of competition and literally every aspect of, of what I do. And so that also motivates me because I don't want to be left behind. I don't want someone else to be better than me and to be chosen over me because they worked harder or because any, any other reason. I want to be the one chosen for anything that I want in life. And so I have to work hard to make that happen for myself. Competition is stiff in Dallas. 
Um, and it it's it's something that you don't see blatantly all the time because a lot of people are nice people but then there's people who seem like they're nice people but they're your competition and they'll do anything to get that spot over you and I luckily have not come across many people like that but I know people who have and so the like that the thought of that happening to me is like if that if that ever does happen to me and someone tries to get a one up on me, I, I want them to not be able to. I want to always be one step ahead. So as far as next plans go, I've had a super busy past like year and a half and so I'm kind of taking a break off to ease into whatever I feel like is truly me instead of just doing things just to do them. I feel like I'm at a point where I'm young enough to do things just to do them and to get the experience and find out what it is that I really want to hone in on. But my next plans are to really decide like one or two things that I'm very passionate about and want to move forward in. Because I have so many options in front of me that I really have to choose which ones I feel are going to be the most fulfilling. So at this point in time, I'm not entirely sure, but stay tuned because good things are coming. I'm Kelsey Sparks. This has been Day with Dallas, and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Kelsey Sparks. That's K E L S E Y S P A R K S S. Thanks. Do you know your sign? The zodiac sign? Yeah, uh, I'm an Aries. Oh, cute. Yeah. This is nice. I like Aries. Really? Yeah. yeah. I think we have strong personalities. <laughs> yeah. I don't, but like that's what they say. Yeah. <laughs> I do. You do? <laughs> You're just gonna lie to me. Yeah. I like it. My father told me, boy, with your last name, you're a lover. Now since I met you, girl, it's my last name to get under. No one can give you my last name, the rain and the summer. With the ring to symbolize, I'll be champagne on the others. Take your hand with no permission, cause they say you know